Hot on the campaign trail, by midday today, Congresswoman Madeleine Berdalio had already voted and managed to visit the northern polling sites. Well, it's uh, it's kind of quiet, you know. Uh, I expect, uh, they said this morning when the polls opened, the crowd was a little bigger. And then I think at noontime, people take lunch uh, periods and they go off to vote. And then it just before the closing of the polls, that's when you're going to see the long lines and a lot of people. Berdalio is running unopposed. Nonetheless, she works worked the crowd, pressed the flesh, reassuring her constituents of the initiatives that she will prioritize in the next congressional term. We feel that we're going to have a very uh, a large majority in the House, and uh, we're hoping to get that 60 number in the Senate, and then I will be able to get that war claims bill through. Um, and if we have a, a Democrat in the White House, it, it's going to be very good for us. And while we elect our lawmakers locally, on the U.S. mainland, the country's most important election will come to a head soon enough. We will know in the next day or so who will be the next United States president. Our delegate to Washington is strongly behind the Democratic team, saying Obama-Biden is the best choice for Guam and the nation. Senator Obama is, uh, was born in Hawaii. He's told me more than once that he's an island boy and uh, he will take care of the territories. So actually the uh, war claims is one of the biggest and then of course getting funding for this military build up. For these times, you know, we need a change. Uh, our country's been through a lot. We've spent so much money on the war. And uh, now is the time that we have to kind of look to our own domestic, uh, you know, programs. And it's, it's real sad when you have to cut health and education, you cut the budgets on veterans, when we're spending, you know, billions of dollars in the war effort. So I, uh, I hope, I think he would be good for our country at this time.